Hello everyone, it is 11.42 p.m. on Wednesday, September 13th. Wednesday 13th, hehe, <laughs> like Adam's Family Wednesday. Um, I am tired, but not tired. I was watching Atlantis, obviously I have it paused and then the screen went blank, um, but I was watching that. I just came back from Walmart. Because I needed tights, and of course I got like 18 other things. I got a pack of pins. They're all right here. If I don't drop all of them. Uh, we have one that says, eat, drink, and be scary. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, which better have my candy? <laughs> yeah, the hollow skull with hard eyes. I like this, but I don't know if I like the skull with heart eyes. And then we have one that says, bye bye. Um, I got those at Walmart near the Halloween jewelry. And then I got this super cute uh, by the actual Halloween stuff. It is a pen. It, the poof is super, super soft, like ridiculously soft. Um, I got, I found a doll on top of my neighbor's trash can. Uh, they're gone, and I think someone came in to be like a cleaner and clean up the the house because I think they left it kind of trash because there was still stuff in it. So the Barbie was just sitting on top of the trash can. Like, there was nothing on it. She wasn't in anything. She didn't have anything on her. She wasn't in the trash. She was like on top of the lid. So at night when I went to Walmart, I just kind of went over there and grabbed it. Um, she's drying right now because I washed her, obviously. Um, she's got such a pretty face mold. Um, I had to save her and she had like 18 hair ties in her hair. So awful and her hair is so pretty. Um, and it's like the textured hair, like the super curly hair. Um, so I hope that washed out and I used a little bit of my coconut oil conditioner. So now she smells delicious. <laughs> um, so she's drying. She had a cute little outfit and she has earrings on, but sadly no shoes. That's just what happens when you have a Barbie with, um, a Barbie with shoes. No sh I don't know what else. Um, I got some tights. I got, uh, a sketchbook and then I got a shirt. Um, oh yeah, I forgot. I, I keep forgetting I have this now. I need to take off the little string piece of it. This was definitely an impulse buy. I mean, I feel like all of it was. <laughs> Get let go. Oh my gosh, I hate this thing. There we go. But I got a little Pokeball. And I got Mini-Q. I think that's how you say his name. I, always, I never pronounce his name right. He's so cute. Look at his little face. By the way, this is his face, not this. A lot of people assume that this is his head, but it's not. He's so cute. And he comes with a little, little thing. You can't, you can like hardly even see him. So he goes in there and it has a clip so you can like take your Pokemon around with you. It's not really like a button, so. But I just thought that was the cutest thing ever. It was kind of expensive for like such a small toy. Like both of these together was like almost $10, which was kind of ridiculous, but he was worth it. There was only two of them there and I had to get him. I wish they weren't so expensive. I feel like instead of nine something, the better price would be like $5. But that's just me being cheap, I think. I feel like I got so much more. I spent a lot of money. I got the special edition pumpkin spice uh, drinks, the Starbucks drinks, because, you know, I'm white and all that. I'm a white girl. I can't help it. <laughs> There's a moth in my room. Uh, I'm probably going to edit this tomorrow because I just don't feel like doing anything else. Um, I got pretty much everything I needed to get done, almost everything I needed to get done today. I got... Uh, I can actually cross these off. Got zone tans, uh, or one of my cosplays hair clips finished. I got Katie's hair clips finished, or Lily Cat. I think that's still her name. I don't know. I have her on my featured channel for Halloween Heartthrob. 
uh, I got everything done pretty much. I got my face up, the doll that I needed to do the face up swap for done, and I made her a little outfit. Um, and I want to show her, but the person who I'm sending it to watches this channel sometimes, so I can't show you because he wants it to be a surprise. I really, really hope he likes it because, and he's like, oh, I'm really excited for it and I really want to be just like, no, have very low, like, lower your expectations, like, very low, like, don't expect anything good. <laughs> um, but at the same time, I kind of don't want to give her back because I like her. <laughs> A lot like I, I which is a good thing because if I hated her then I would never I wouldn't even bother I'd just be like I'm gonna buy you a new doll because I hate it I've ruined it but because I like her I got a lot of uh, not a lot but I, I got a good couple of pictures of her um, that when I send it to him and then he gets it I'd like to post uh, I like to take pictures of things that I make uh, that I'm that when I give away to people so I have a remembrance of what I made so I can give it keep it in like my little I call it like my portfolio um, I have like a little stockpile of all the things that I've made um, especially things that I've given away so <sighs> I I just really hope he likes it like actually likes it and not like oh wow I'm never doing anything I'm never getting a doll from you again um, because that is one of the things that I wanted to do is do face-ups for people, so, or at least do a face-up, like, custom a doll and then maybe, like, just sell it as is, because I feel like the one reason why I really enjoyed working with him, as long as he likes it, because <laughs> if he doesn't and he sends it back, like, no, do it again. Um, if he hates it that much, then I will, but... One of the things that I really wanted to do um, and really enjoyed working with him, he's like, yeah, just do whatever, and that's awesome. Um, and it's also scary at the same time because as an artist, you really want people to be detailed uh, for what they want because you want, it, you want it to be right. And I feel like sometimes when people are like, oh, do whatever you want, they still have a, a thought in their head of what they want, but they just don't know how to put it into words, I think. I don't know. Um... But it was fun. It was fun to just kind of let whatever happen happen, and that's kind of how I made it, and I like it. I feel like it has a semi, um, Outlast? No, that's not the game. Or is it one of the new Resident Evil games? I don't remember. It has that kind of vibe to it, and I like it. Not majorly like that, but I don't know. But... I, I'll probably edit this and upload this tomorrow, so this video might be late, because I just... Well, I got my costumes done, so I can technically start making another costume if I really feel ambitious, but I, I feel like I'm just not going to do that, because um, I really don't need to add any more pressure or costumes to my list of things. So, I think I'm going to call it quits, will say that I'm done, um, and then I need to start packing, and then I'll vlog that for my Halloween Heartthrob channel so I can have a video for that day, uh, and then all I need to do, the only thing I need to do now is focus on my videos, and I'm very anxious to not do them, <laughs> because I just... I want to make scary videos, but at the same time it's so hard to do that because of the YouTube adpocalypse still going on that even tags uh, will get your videos demonetized. And I know it's not all about the money, but stuff's expensive and it's I don't get paid that much at YouTube to begin with. Um, so I just, it helps to support the channel. Um, so yeah, it, it's, it's tough because one of the videos I already had that was demonetized, um, wasn't even scary, didn't have gore, didn't have, uh, unauthorized music, 
didn't have any nudity, no swearing, there wasn't even talking. So I don't, I don't know. It's just like, you can't do anything anymore that isn't some sort of video for babies. So I have to figure out what I'm gonna do for these last couple of videos because I have one I need to edit or like do the voiceover and edit properly and then three I need to just film all together so and I'm not gonna just not do them. So there's that. Um, I might take up a couple of other projects because I do have like eight days before I leave um, so I might finish my uh, face up for bear and then when I get back I might do a face reveal for it so you guys will have to wait a long time. <laughs> Um, but for the people who don't watch my vlogs and they're only there on my Halloween Heartthrob channel, then they won't even know that I'm working on it. So only you guys know it. I think it was in the last video I showed. I'm going to put on or continue watching, uh, Atlantis. By the way, very underrated Disney movie. Fantastic movie. Um... I'm going to think of a couple of ideas to do for Hollow Wicked, and uh, yeah, I will talk to you guys tomorrow, and I'm signing out.